All right, we're in our car. We got it all checked out, and we are headed to our hotel in Mallorca. What's the name of the place again? Benac Petit Hotel. Benac Petit Hotel. Sounds really awesome. And so we're going to go check it out. We're out of the car. We're going to be taking a look at this little town here called Luc Major. We're setting up for some exhibit. Maybe it's Oktoberfest. Something like that. What's going on here in Mallorca? Definitely past the little carnival phase that uh, that you have when you're a kid. So we're gonna skip the carnival for now. What do you think? You never know, we might be back. You never know. All right, this looks like our hotel. It's way out here in the middle of nowhere. Your destination is and on the right. We're gonna try to find out where we go. You ready to check this out, Robin? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's find out what we do here. It's kind of an interesting place that we're staying at. It's the next day, so it's light out. Looks like a little farm here and just a very peaceful place. Looks like it's pretty old too. So I'm gonna take the drone up, see if I can get some cool video. We're gonna go to the beach here in Mallorca. All right, we parked the car and now we're gonna walk to Cafe Esperanza, which must be a great place to eat. There's the beach. And the cafe is up this way. All right, we're done with lunch. We're gonna go check out the beach. All right, it's a beautiful beach. All right, so that's one beach. We're gonna go check out a different one too. And then we have to go back to our car anyway to grab our stuff. But uh, what do you think of this beach? Yeah, it looked nice. It was very shallow for like a long, long time. And I read that about a lot of beaches here. Yeah, yeah, it's that way you can, it take, you can just take your time getting out there and it's kind of cool. Another beach, this is the one we're gonna stay at for today. It's shallow too, but boy, those waves are really coming in fast. What do you think of the beach? Yeah, it's really nice. I wish it was a little warmer, we could've gotten in, but we'll get in tomorrow. We'll get in tomorrow, it's just a little cool out today, but we'll get in tomorrow. All right, we're in Luc Major, and there's a little fiesta going on, so we're gonna check it out. All right, I've never seen a festival like this. It's like fireplaces, and like the Renault Capture, which is a car, and you know, a furnace, I think. <laughs> Pretty bizarre, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> There's something that looks like art right there. Yeah, it's like a big keg, but there's nothing in it, I don't think. Look at that sign. And look at all the people. Really big, it's going on, right? 
Oh, okay, maybe not. We're in Palmo right now. The beautiful building over there. Heading towards a vegan restaurant here in Mallorca. This restaurant's called Can Anella. It's a vegan restaurant, so we're gonna check it out. This is our vegan restaurant. A menu. First up, and we already dug into it, is carrot pate. What do you think, Robin? Really good. Awesome. Very creamy. Very creamy and very tasty. Yes, all this is vegan. Looks pretty good. How'd you like your first bite of that? Uh, edamame was really good. Well, that's you had the edamame. A lot of good flavor to it. Yeah, awesome. Because it has like some Asian flavors. And stuff. Cool. Very good. All right, we're done with dinner. What'd you think? It was very, very good. Yeah, it was very good. And now we're going to walk around and check out this town. Home. It's a little late. They don't have any lights out here. It's a little interesting. We saw an animal run across the street. I think it was a cat, but I'm not 100% sure. outside our room and we hear voices not sure what it is something's out there all right we are at the park of Mondrago there's a beach here and I'm just waiting for Robin she actually rode her bike here because she's better than I am I drove and I am meeting her here in a couple of minutes. You made it back. How was it? Yeah, it was good. It was awesome. Awesome. It had me going back and forth on this same road, and it's like... All right, now that Robin's done with their bike ride, good job, Robin. Thank you. We're going to go grab a snack and hang out at the beach a little bit. This looks like the snail plant. I'm going to show it to you, but there's a bunch of snails on these plants. There's one, there's one. There's one over here, there's a couple down there. Very strange, there's all these snails on that one plant. Well, another beautiful day at the beach done here in Mallorca. What do you think, yeah, Robin? Mile. Yeah, it was really nice. It was warm, the water felt good. We went snorkeling, um, met some really nice people from Chicago and uh, Savannah now, so it was awesome. Yeah, it was great. All right, we're at the Vivo Blue and we are going resort and we are going to go to the beach today and see what the beach looks like around here. So having lunch, I know this is all loud here, but having lunch here and just want to show you, you can still do some healthy alternatives that are vegan right here. So these are vegetable fajitas. I'm not going to eat the sour cream, but I'm having the guacamole and the tomatoes and onions and all these delicious grilled vegetables. It's just awesome. All right, I'm going to show you the view from our room in Morro, Mallorca.
Not too shabby. Just a nice view right outside of our hotel. All right, we're gonna go visit the old town here called Akudia, so we'll show you around. All right, let's go check this town out. Yeah. So you can see these restaurants are empty right now, but it's only because it's so early. It's only like, what time is it around? 6.30. It's only 6.30 and things don't really get started here until probably 8, 9 o'clock. So, you know, that's why it looks so quiet right now here. It was a moat. So this was... Probably a castle here at one point in time. Pretty cool, you know, they built a little town around it. I guess these are the steps you go. Be in tennis no matter where you go. It doesn't matter how old the places are. There's always gonna be satellite dishes and TV antennas. down there. Mess of trees here. There's an orange tree right there. Yeah, so this is kind of a little old town. It's kind of cool what's going on. There's a lot of people out and about, and it's just pretty neat. All right, we found a vegan restaurant here called Bella Birdie. So we're gonna go check it out. Here we are. Under Chris. Chris, okay. Yeah. I, I put in, in this table, but if you prefer in, in the middle, it's fine. So Robin, what kind of tree is this? It's a fig tree and there's all kinds of figs up there, but they actually look kind of small. The figs? Yeah. Oh yeah, I could see some right there. Pretty cool, huh? Now that's what I call an appetizer. <laughs> and it's all plant-based, huh? Yeah. That is one big appetizer. Too big, actually. Well, dive in. The samosa. It's really good. It's got some kind of flavor I can't figure out what it is. Mm. That was good. What'd you get, Robin? I got curry, vegetables, and tofu, and it's really good. I tasted it. Awesome. And yeah, I got this Satan gyro thing, but it looks awesome because uh, it's got a lot of fresh tomatoes and salad and everything. I know it's not the healthiest, but it is vegan. So this doesn't taste exactly like a gyro or a hero or however you pronounce it, but it tastes awfully close and the good thing is it's, it's plant-based. So this is awesome, it tastes good, and I'm gonna chow down. All right, let's give this a try. Ooh, uh-oh, I broke it. That is awesome, very delicious. All right, Robin, what beach is this that we're going to? It's called St. Vincent. St. Vincent. All right. This is, um, the, st we're still in Mallorca, the island of Mallorca in Spain, and we're going to go to this beach. Robin says it's beautiful, right? I saw it this morning on my bike ride, and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I had to bring Chris back to it, and I have to jump in the water. I'm keeping my fingers crossed it's not too cold. Yeah, we'll check it out. We still are behind this bus RV thing, and it's just, very slow going because the roads are small, but that thing isn't. And so 
uh, it's uh, slowing down traffic on both sides of the road. It's kind of crazy, actually. Very slow going. All right, we are past the bus. Took a different turn. Now we're moving again. This might not be the exact beach Robin found earlier, but it's still a beach. It looks great. So, what do you think? I'm gonna go, we're gonna walk around a little bit. I wanna try to find it. We're gonna try to find it. This is it. It's a beautiful beach. You got these steps. Look at these ancient steps over there. Kind of cool. Looks like a really medieval beach right here. All right, that was an awesome beach. And now we're going to spend the next three nights in Palma. And then after that, we actually head home and we are done with this three month excursion that we had out here bouncing around Europe. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get some pinchos in Palma here and uh, hopefully we'll be okay. We'll see, what do you think, Rob? We'll see, it's a little scary. You said you were here 35 years ago, it's a little tiny island and it's a lot different now. A lot different. Yeah, a lot of partiers out tonight. This place, Mikkel and Pinko, says that they're open till midnight, but don't be fooled, they close like at 1020. So they're already closed, we can't eat there, but it says actually on their website they're open till midnight. So I wouldn't uh, believe what they say when you uh, look at their website. All right, this is party time in Mallorca. Hey, little kitty. All right, we're gonna go for a run. All right, getting back to a, a fun run here in Mallorca, Spain. We're gonna go about three miles. What do you think, Robin? Yeah, it's a little warm. So we're just gonna get it done. Yeah, it's probably about 80 degrees out. So it's a little warm, but we got this beautiful beach right here, so we're okay with that. We have an awesome sunset going off our balcony right now, so I just want to show it to you. All right, so we are on our way to a vegan restaurant. What's the name of this restaurant, Robin? Botanic. Botanic, and it's vegan, and it's in Spain, and we're excited because there's not a lot of vegan restaurants in Spain. It's an interesting sculpture, house upside down on the way to the restaurant. We're in the city of Palma and there's this supposedly a really good vegan restaurant here so we're gonna check it out. We made it. This is the restaurant, Botanic. Okay. Did you put it under your name or mine? Your name. Under Chris? Chris. Fantastic. You can follow me, please. Great. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> 
thanks. Please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you like to drink water? Sure. Oh, I would, yeah. yeah. Sparkling. It's sparkling? Fantastic. Have a nice dinner. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. So this restaurant's not completely vegan, but has a lot of vegan options, which is one of the reasons why we picked it. What do you think? Yeah. All right, so we opted for the vegan tasting menu, and we're pretty excited to see what that gives us, because it's going to be a bunch of different things, right? Yeah. So we'll see what it does. All right, you're going to try your cocktail out that comes with the tasting menu? What do you think? I like it. It's good. Which is out. That's pita bread with some chutney, some vegan cheese, and some tomato. It's hot. So we're gonna chow down. What do you think? Awesome courgettes. We don't know what that is yet. We're gonna find out. And those are some some tacos. All right, the lettuce wrap taco. A lot of cilantro, I like it. So this is a tomato with a jalapeno cold soup. This is a sweet potato with mushrooms and some other delicious vegetables. So we're gonna chow down. All right, that's coconut curry and some fried rice. We're gonna chow down. All right, so you gonna give this a try? Yeah. All right, let us know what you think. Very coconutty. Oh, I like the coconut stuff. And curry, it's really good. Awesome. Dessert is served. This is pineapple with some creamy chocolate. Some beautiful mountains out here. All right, we're gonna go check out the Port de Solar, see what it's all about. All right, we're at the port. Old building way over there. Tramonta Mountains and we're gonna check it out. There's supposed to be a town up here and we are heading up the mountains and it's slow going. Now this looks like the perfect place to take a drone up and that's what I'm gonna do. I hope you enjoyed the drone footage. Now we're gonna go check out the city. Now we just have to find out the name of this town. The town of Fornalux. It's cool when you see these medieval towns that are still functioning today. Narrow, as you can see. All right, we parked the car. We're in Fornalux. We're going to go check it out. It's always hairy. We actually got out of the city for a second, as you probably saw, because, uh, well, once you, once you pass something, it's almost impossible to make a turn because the roads are so narrow. But we're parked now, and we're going to go check it out. Alright, 
we are now in the town of Dia, so we're going to take a little look around. This is it. The bar restaurant Meridos de Na Foranada. Alright, this is the amazing view at this restaurant right here. Alright, this is such a beautiful view here. I'm gonna try to get the drone up. We are bouncing around. Now we're in Valdemosa. We're going to show you this little town around. Robin, you picked it out. Why'd you pick this town out? Um, someone sent me a picture of it and it looked awesome. Yeah, so we're going to take a look. Another ancient medieval city. So bizarre at this steak restaurant. This is a steak restaurant and it's inside this medieval building. Pretty wild. What do you think of the view? It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, we're going to Palma, which is the biggest town in Mallorca. That's the Cathedral of Mallorca. All right, well, we finally made it to Palma when there was a little bit of daylight. We're usually here when it's nighttime. But there's a little bit of daylight. We probably got one hour before it goes away. And we're going to go to the cathedral here. And Robin, you got anything to add here? No, it just looked awesome from the outside, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. Got a little fat up there. Kind of weird. Definitely an Egyptian theme here. The cathedral. See how big this thing is Just by looking at the people. It's pretty big. It's a magnificent cathedral. You can see. Amazing. And right next to the cathedral you saw when we were walking up, there's a palace here. And I'll show you a little more. So this is more of the palace. And then right next to it is the side of the cathedral there. Very big. I think I mentioned this on one of our other trips, but you see this thing right here, these cement little things in the corners of the, uh, in the corners and they're sloped in a way. It's, it's to stop people from urinating <laughs> because people would urinate in the corner, but when they're, when they're like that, 
and you try to urinate, then you're just going to urinate on yourself. It's going to roll right down on top of you. So it, defer, it deters people from urinating. That's why they put them there. So if you see that in corners, you'll know why now. Fancy building right here. They're doing crazy things if you can see them. A lot of them up there. Just darting in and out. I don't think they know what they're doing. There's another big church. Because they like that big churches here. This one is on this street. Pretty cool building there. View of that. Really cool looking building. Definitely a big square here. Pretty cool. All right, we are in the Barcelona airport. We're getting ready to fly to Florida, so we're going back to the United States. And we'll spend about a week or a half or so on the East Coast because we have a couple events. And then we will then fly home. We haven't been home for three and a half months, so we're, we're ready to go, actually. But uh, anyway, that's the end of this vlog. Rob, what did you think of our European romp? It was pretty amazing. Um, I would do it all over again. There was uh, nothing I regret, and uh, it was just awesome. Yeah, it was great. It's great to travel. It's great to go home again. But uh, I'm sure that we'll be home for uh, a little while, and we'll be hitting the road again. So stay tuned because there will be more vlogs to come in the future.